News. A developing story this midday, the desperate search for an 11 year old boy missing in our Arctic temperatures. That search now in day two. Thank you for joining us this midday. I'm Sonia Azad. Crews out all night searching the Mountain Creek area of Dallas, and that's where we find our Tanya Eisler with the very latest. Tanya, what can you tell us at this point? Well, honestly, Sonia, we really can't tell you a whole lot. I, I will start with what we do know. Travion Griffin, uh, he went amiss about 11 o'clock on Wednesday night. It's, it's now 36 hours uh, since he left his home. And as you can imagine, uh, police, his family, the community, they're very concerned. Given the temperatures, it's just, it's just above uh, freezing right now. But it's, it's very concerning given how cold it's been. That's why police upgraded this to a critical missing case because they are very worried, worried about where he might be. And everybody's hoping that perhaps he's uh, in his, you know, at a friend's house or something. Maybe he's playing Xbox, but obviously the other concern is that maybe he's not. So that's why everybody's so worried. We did see uh, earlier a some kind of community group that had uh, dogs out here. They were uh, uh, searching uh, for him. Uh, we've seen a couple of police squad cars. Last night, police had mounted K-9, the helicopter unit. They had their, their drone group. So they've had, uh, police have uh, expended tremendous resources uh, looking for young Travion. So, uh, you know, obviously just a lot of hopes and prayers here that this ends safely, that he is found. Again, I've been talking to my sources all morning and, and police really just at this point uh, do not know where he is. Well, Tanya, I'm sure as soon as we get more information, uh, you and, uh, you know, you'll keep us posted. We'll also post more on our website, WFAA.com. We appreciate the report. And a lot of you all have been asking at home, why hasn't an Amber Alert officially been issued? Well, we've pressed law enforcement, of course, for answers. Here's what we can tell you right now. Uh, according to the Texas Department of Public Safety, these are among the criteria for an Amber Alert in Texas. So check it out. The child disappearance has been determined to be unwilling. Child is in immediate danger of sexual assault, death, or bodily injury. A preliminary investigation verified an abduction, and there is sufficient information for the public to locate the child, like a description of a suspect or vehicle used in an abduction.